She was with friends at a, at a barbecue outside and just randomly was shot by a stranger because of it was paralyzed. A gentleman who was a veteran, when he came to our program, he had been homeless for years um, and was heavily involved in using controlled substances an individual who had a recent motorcycle accident. He couldn't use his hands anymore. He was spiraling into depression. He wanted to get back to work. He didn't see a path. Rehabilitation counselors are uniquely qualified to do what we do. I think we're the only profession that specifically addresses um, how to help individuals with disabilities fit into the workplace and how to make a workplace more receptive to people with disabilities. The art of rehabilitation counseling, in my opinion, is really bringing together all the pieces of the puzzle. Knowing that the individual is whole, um, but may need some supports out there. So that could mean negotiation with an employer, that could mean counseling for the individual. It could mean getting them in touch with community resources so that that individual is supported to their fullest potential. You have to find a job that is within the abilities and current skills of the client, not just any job. We want them to know that we're there, we're in their corner, and, and we want to assist them to uh, ultimately obtain employment. What I do is to provide guidance and counseling um, and just support for the employers and understanding what it's like to return back to work after having a significant event happen to you. You know, things like, what will my employer think of me? What will my coworkers say? I've been off work for so much time. It creates a lot of anxiety and can be a barrier for returning back to work, but with support, it can be easily overcome if everybody's on the same page. A lot of times, what we're presented with is a jigsaw puzzle that's been taken apart or knocked apart by some tragic event in that person's life that changed who they are, how they identify themselves, what they're able to do. As rehab counselors, we pick up those pieces and we put them back together. I sent one more letter, but I took that moment and saw the opportunity to really find out, did he want to return to work? Did he want to return to that employer? He used to go out into the field and inspect airplanes, but he couldn't do that physically. What were some of his goals? And in relation to that, what were some of his barriers? It took um, between six to eight months. His home was being modified. His church was helping. His car was being modified. He was in a wheelchair. He was learning so much information of how to get back to his normal life. And work was a big component, but everything kind of had to be coordinated together. She came to us uh, after she suffered uh, a gunshot wound. She wanted to go to college. She wanted to be a student. We uh, assisted with the modification of her van and also we paid for her tuition and fees at the local college. She um, obtained her degree and uh, she's very independent. She has very limited use of her arms and her hands, but she still, she can drive. She's able to do her her paperwork, her reports. Uh, it's just amazing the, the things that she's accomplished. I don't think when he walked in the door that he thought he would be making a life-altering decision. As we have counselors, we identified, well, what are some of the root causes that led to you being homeless and not being able to hold down a full-time job? So we directed that individual to substance abuse counseling at the VA. Uh, we worked with homeless program services to look for housing options. We identified a local hospital that was in need of a receptionist. He was thrilled to have that job. He started to become more independent. As he became more stable in the job, he could pay his own rent. And we could kind of see the pride and the dignity coming back to that, to that veteran. Sometimes people need supports and they need the help and they need the guidance and they need the knowledge to know how to fulfill their true potential. A lot of what rehabilitation counseling is about is empowering individuals to be independent and to make their own decisions in life. At any moment, we can uh, be involved in an accident where we will be disabled ourselves. And uh, I think we also have to let society know that uh, 
We're one accident away from being uh, a, a customer. There is a reason why I'm in this field, to help others.